Hello, Business 120 students. Here is a short tutorial and an example on how to do a virtual tour. This is assignment 7.1 on your Blackboard. We are asking you to create a 5 to 10 minute virtual tour in the form of a PowerPoint that showcases how a company has promoted a product. We call this an integrated marketing tour. You will be showing your prowess in integrated marketing for us. You can highlight a unique approach, or you can show how a company has used many different communication platforms. This virtual tour, this assignment, becomes part of your final project. So I suggest you use the same company as you will for your final project. This is a chart of all the common communication platforms that existed prior to 2019. There are many more now, and you know a lot of them, but this is a pretty good basic list for you to um, start with. For example, in this <clears throat> lower portion about the um, social media sites, many of these are outmoded. TikTok, for example, isn't on here. But I'm sure you can um, deal with that and show me how smart you are and how up-to-date you are on social media issues. Traditional media typically refers to print. We want you to specify the newspaper and the magazine, etc. As you know, print is going out of style, and digital, radio, television are much more prominent. Outdoor media, which means billboards or banner ads, or even a logo on a building, those are um, all in the category of traditional media. And of course, you know what digital media is. We're talking about websites on the internet, social networking, media, search engines. Here is an example from a student from a couple years ago who did an exceptional job on his virtual tour. His name was Nathan Barge, and he was an intern at the Mallards, and he used that experience to tell us about the integrated marketing at the Mallards, which is amazing. So here his, is his traditional slide. And Nathan got up in front of the class and shared with us the details of some of these items. Here is his digital media slide. At that time they were using Snapchat. I'm sure they're using Instagram much more robustly and everyone still is using Facebook. <clears throat> One of the unique aspects of the Mallards is their holiday lights program. I'm not sure they're going to have them this year, but he gave us a, a deep in um, a deep description of what they were, and I believe he had some video for us. He also smartly let us know that slogans and hashtags were a big part of their social media, and he shared with us what those were to give us an idea of how hard the marketing team was working, working on ideas. Oops. The um, Mallards also were using um, contests and fundraisers, and you'll see examples here, and parties and outings as part of their marketing. 
And finally, he talked to us about many merchandising items that the Mallards use to send its messages about what a fun place it is to spend some time and how professional they are at doing their marketing. We'll go over this again in class so that you'll understand it and be able to ask some questions. But I wanted to make this short PowerPoint for you for your reference, given the fact that we're teaching remotely this year. Again, thank you for listening, and we'll see you in class.